So I'm going to do a little bit of a vlog type thing this week. I really enjoy watching them and I've got quite an interesting week actually. So um, I thought I would take you with me for as much of it as I can possibly show you. Um, to kick things off, it is currently Monday. It's Bank Holiday Monday. My day has just had some chores. I was a bit hungover this morning. I had a really nice day with a friend yesterday. Lots of wine, lots of chat, lots of laughs. Um, so yeah, hangover watched a movie in bed, pulled myself together, started doing some washing, doing some cleaning, and now I'm just going to the gym because I really want to get myself back into a bit of a a bit of a um, routine. Got a couple of days at work and then I'm off on Thursday and Friday because I have a wedding on Thursday and then I'm going to spend some time with my parents as I don't get to see them as often as I would like at the moment. So yeah, look forward to taking you with me and showing you a little bit more of what's going on. Gym bag, long champ pillage, backpack, the classic. Hello, hello. It is Tuesday morning. It's like 10 past seven on Tuesday morning and I'm getting ready to head into the office for a day at work. Um, quite a good day actually planned today so I'm going to go into work. Then at lunchtime I've got a really quick haircut because I have a wedding on Thursday and my hair just very kindly fitted me in because my planning was not good. Um, so yeah, then a full day and then I am watching a friend play softball. Um, and then I'm going to pack ready for, for kind of leaving for a few days to go to this wedding and to spend some time with my parents, which I said about yesterday. So I will insert a full outfit. Um, but in terms of bag, I'm going to use this today. It's a great work bag. Easy, fits a full-size laptop, like a 16-inch laptop. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that, but I will insert a full photo of what the outfit looked like today. Um, anyway, hope you all have a good day and I will insert little snippets of where I'm at and what I'm doing. So I'm a moment or two early for the salon. So I just thought I'd address a couple of questions I often get asked. People often ask what I drive. I drive a, currently drive a Mercedes-Benz GLC SUV and it is freaking awesome. Such a good car, more than I need by far lip and love it it's awesome i also get asked if i drive in heels a lot oh rubbish if i drive in heels i would never drive in a pair of heels i don't think it's safe i don't think it's the right thing to do i will always wear a pair of trainers or something and then change shoes but anyway bag of the day Woo! let's go chop the hair me again it is tuesday afternoon evening actually i should say um and i've just got home but i'm off to watch a friend play softball so here we go. It might be August, but it gets chilly in the evening. So Karl Lagerfeld puffer, MCM, because I'm going to likely need to put this on the grass and I don't want to be faffy about it. So here we go. Woo, that's the look. See you later. So welcome to the floor, otherwise known as my procrastination. Right now I am packing for my few days um, away, a few days with my parents, I've got a wedding. So I've been packing outfits and I just don't have a clue what I'm wearing. I've basically got three different outfits that I'll make a decision. I'll probably ask mum what her thoughts are. Because um, it's one of those things where it's, I think it'll be fairly warm. It's supposed to be a bit more of a casual kind of summery wedding, but then you don't want to necessarily stand out too much. So yeah i don't know but i've got some nice stuff i've got some pink i've got some blue some sort of baby blue you know lovely kind of shoes um you know like these kind of floral they're just an asos floral they're really nice um again i've got these gold asos as well i just don't think you need to spend a huge money amount of money on these things to look kind of really pulled together like i've got this beautiful um jacket but fun fact, my dad actually bought this in for himself and then decided it just wasn't for him. But look how gorgeous the lining is on this jacket. Stunning. This is by White Stuff. Um, but I just think it's really, really lovely. It's this beautiful shade of pink. So I wore this actually to the day kind of official ceremony for my brother, his kind of legal marriage. Um, I'll insert a photo. But yeah, so I've got all of that. And then I've also got my bag full of bags bag full of bags so this is my celine um and what i'm kind of loving about this is it's giving me that vibe of you know when people carry like vintage birkin 40s or like hacks that are just really slouchy and just 
they're still like chic but in quite an effortless way i feel like this has that sort of effortless chic nature to it because it's a big old bag but it's a bag filled with bags so it's got a gift for my mum um i don't know which bag i want to use so i've got my kurt geiger tweed kensington in that kind of navy glitter i've got my white Longchamp Le Pliage, my Lacoste cap, because I go everywhere with a Lacoste cap. Um, and then I've also got my Trippy Tiger Mulberry Bays water in case I want to do that kind of top handle. But actually, to be fair, I'm taking Trippy Tiger because I will probably just want to use that a little bit more when I'm actually away. But I also thought that I would jump on here and just uh, answer a question that I've been asked a few times um, whilst I was thinking about it. And whilst I'm procrastinating because I should be packing or I should be going to the gym or I should be doing something productive. Um, but here I am. So I get asked a lot what my thoughts are on ready to wear, like luxury ready to wear and whether or not I would buy luxury ready to wear. And it's a really interesting one because for me, it's it's nothing against ready to wear as a as a place to put your money. For me, I just don't think it's worth it in terms of how I allocate my income. So if I had unlimited funds, sure, I'm sure I would buy luxury ready to wear. But in terms of allocating my income, I just don't see it because the, the price points are still pretty substantial. And where I worry about ready to wear, and I know you could say the same for a bag, but I worry with a piece of ready to wear. Let's say that you bought a beautiful, beautiful, you know, jacket or something and you spilt something on it that's potentially ruined whereas it's easier to cover things up with an accessory or a bag or even a shoe um that's not to say I don't buy nice ready to wear because I do buy I buy Karl Lagerfeld I buy Lacoste I buy Ralph Lauren but Polo so Diffusion line I buy a lot of Calvin Klein um so I don't wear you know less I don't always wear kind of the less expensive stuff but I do wear a lot of ASOS and I, I do wear you know, some of those, what would maybe be considered to be fast fashion, but I've owned them for a long time. So take, for example, I've got that pink, beautiful pink kind of um, fabric jacket, not the one I just showed you, my other one that I'll insert a photo of. That's ASOS. And I bought that to go to Henny Regatta in 2016, six years ago, and I still wear it. It was 70 pounds. That felt extravagant at the time, but I've worn it so much. Do I feel that I need to spend more than that? No, because I think it gives me what I need. So that's it. It's not that I, it's not that I'm in any way passing judgment on anybody who does buy luxury ready to wear. Because like I said, if I had the allocation of income to do it, I would. Don't get me wrong. I think I would. But also, do I think that I would be, you know, missing something? Do I feel like I missed something from my wardrobe by not owning it? No. I'm perfectly happy with the brands that I buy from. I feel that they perfectly fit my aesthetic. Like I was wearing my Karl Lagerfeld puffer earlier and I love that jacket. I think it's fab. I've got this great, um, oh, I've got this absolutely great kind of beautiful green, um, very light puffer gilet. And this was from Crew. And that's a nice brand. It's not luxury, luxury, but it's a nice brand. And that does me really well. And I really like it. And I get a lot of compliments on it. So I just don't think it's for me right now. That's not for me to say it's never going to be for me. But I think I will probably use accessories. So I, oh, I think like a blazer's a blazer at the end of the day. And if you get one that can fit you really well, it doesn't have to be luxury to fit you really well. Um, so, but... I would maybe get kind of a blazer that fits me really well from ASOS, etc., but buy a beautiful luxury scarf that I can then wrap around it or that sort of thing. I use, I think I'll be someone who uses accessories in order to give the look a little bit of a, a zhuzh. Um, do I see, yeah, myself being head to toe? No. Do I see myself wearing, you know, Givenchy jeans or Gucci jeans? No, I don't. Uh, just because I'm perfectly happy with what I bought and I see the value in it. And I've worn a pair of, you know, ASOS jeans for a good year or two and they've done me really well and they were £30 and I washed them on cold to try and last longer. And so it just doesn't worry me. Like I said, it's not to say that there's anything against buying it. Not, not in the slightest. I think if you love it, go for it. If you see the value in it, go for it. Do I see a value for it in my lifestyle? No, I think what I... I like how I dress. I like the brands that I buy things from and I'm perfectly comfortable with that. Um, 
And actually, sounds bad. Get a lot of compliments on what I wear. And that that's all that works. Do I think I'd get more compliments if my clothes were luxury? No, I think I'd probably get less, actually. Um, so, because it feels less, I think people are less inclined to compliment something. <laughs> as soon as they know it's luxury or designer, they'll be like, oh, why did I, why did I compliment it? Um, but, yeah, I, that's, that's kind of where I go to with it. So... Yeah, it's just, I just wanted to answer that question that I get asked a lot. Who knows what I'm, what my thought process is going to be in 10 years time. But I love just wearing, you know, a Zara t-shirt, an ASOS pair of jeans, a pair of Kurt Geiger sneakers and throwing a Karl Lagerfeld coat over the top of it. That works perfectly for me. Ready to wear accessories, you know, love to amp up an outfit a little bit with them. But yeah, that's kind of where, it's kind of where I see it going. But just thought I'd answer that question whilst I'm procrastinating and whilst I should be doing something. But hey, I love talking to you all. So this is a great use of my time because I love having a little chin wag with you. Anyway, I probably should finish packing. Um, I need to do toiletries and things. Otherwise I will likely forget and I'll get home and go home. This is my home. And I still refer to mum and dad's as home. It's just, it's kind of ingrained in you, isn't it? Um, but yes, when I get back to mum and dad's, um, I don't want to go, oh my word, where's my spray tan, where's this, where's that, because I'll need that for the wedding to try and look my most glam. Anywho, that's where I'm going to leave you, and I look forward to seeing you in the next segment of this video. See you in a bit, everyone. Mwah. Hey everyone, I am sorry, I have been absolutely rubbish. I didn't video at all yesterday. Um, today is Thursday, so yesterday I was at work for the day, I then had to rush back to um, drive a couple of hours, two and a half hours back to my parents and then I had an eyebrow appointment. So my brows have been done. I think they look pretty good. I'm happy with them. Let me know what you think. But yes, so just been out for a coffee and I had a sausage roll because the place we go to does amazing sausage rolls. Um, so that's good. Cup of tea. Um, and then it's the wedding this afternoon which will be lovely i'll try and insert some photos if i can um definitely an outfit photo for you um but yeah i'm really looking forward to it it's going to be really lovely so it's a nice day um it's it's a nice temperature actually it's warm but not too warm which when you're wearing formal wear is a nice thing um and it's nice and bright so from a photo perspective for the photos that they'll get it will hopefully all be absolutely fabulous. So really looking forward to that. And then just going to be a quiet rest of the weekend. But I will try and take you with me on whatever it is that I am doing. But anyway, hope you are all doing well today. And look forward to showing you what's going on next. So next on the agenda was a little shopping. I can't believe we're in September and I'm already seeing Christmas packaging. Had a little look in Ted Baker. They do some quite nice kind of basics. I really like the colours that Ted Baker creating. Just some nice, easy, casual pieces. Those kind of travel bags were really nice. Some nice coloured t-shirts. Really, really great actually. Um, these coats, beautiful in the ladies' collection. That pink was stunning, so saturated, and a really good price point if you're looking for a wrap coat. I like the bags, but these were kind of flat bags, but they looked a little bit more like wash bags with a chain. I did really like this blue colour, though. I thought it was absolutely lovely, um, quite casual. 
than All Saints, not necessarily my style so much, but I really was drawn to the animal print. They had quite a lot in animal print. Um, it was good fun, nice stuff. It's always very well made. Every piece I've got from All Saints has always been very, very well made and has lasted a long time. So definitely worth the price point. These were fun. I did look at a couple of them, but they were very see-through. So yeah, little stop for a coffee. Just looking out over the docks, which was nice. Calvin Klein loved this raspberry colour. It was beautiful. Um, yeah, some nice, some nice stuff. I like Calvin Klein. I went in there to get some socks. Very, very rock and roll. Next up was off to June. And June do some great shoes and accessories. If you're not a purchaser of June, definitely look at it. They had some beautiful items. Look at these pink shoes. They were gorgeous with the matching bag. What a showstopper. They just had some beautiful, beautiful items. So blingy, so gorgeous. These were a little bit like hangisis, um, for a fraction of the price. Beautiful pink suede. Absolutely loved them. Those two pink shoes were my favourite. There was a pair of baby pink mock croc stilettos that I kept looking at as well. Really nice men's shoes as well. Durable, last a long time. I've always been very happy with mine. Osprey. Beautiful bags, beautiful leather. These are some of their grab bags. Love that blue. Beautiful scarves. Just a nice way to top off an outfit. They know how to do colour very well at Osprey. Just some trinkets and some fun little bits. Kind of homewares, etc. And they're always a very, very good price point. And they've always got a good sale on. So, well worth it. Barbara, how cute was this dog bed? Barber dog accessories are just next level. I like barber stuff, but the dog the dog items are just so, so cute. And these wellies, nice alternative if you don't want to necessarily pay the price of hunters. These are a little bit less expensive. And finally, I need to just stop off to get some fragrance because I had run out. So there we are. So it is Saturday. So I have to apologise in advance. There is a random clicking sound in this particular segment. I hope it isn't too intrusive. I don't really understand what it is or why it's happening, but I hope it's okay. I thought I would just quickly jump on so that you, we could all have a little chit chat just whilst I was kind of finalising getting myself sorted. Um, it is Saturday. Have I said that? I think I might have done. Um, what's the plan today? The plan today is we're going to have brunch we're kind of early celebrating my mum's birthday as I'm not around next week when it's her actual birthday. So early celebration of that, which will be lovely. Um, so I think we're going to have brunch and then I think we're just going to have a day doing something. I'm not 100% sure what that's going to look like, but it will be lovely. But a couple of things that I've been thinking about that I thought I would share with you. I recently shared how I've been neglecting my mulberry base water. I've corrected that because I brought it with me this weekend and here it is and I have been using it so so much and I've been loving it it reminded me why I bought it um, because I absolutely adore it it's fabulous um, yes so we've been doing a little bit of kind of shopping and mooching and just spending time together which is always nice that's what I like to do when I'm here with my family um, so, yeah, then I've been loving that. I've also been really enjoying the Celine bag that I bought. I've brought that with me as well. I've just been enjoying the kind of quite casual nature of it. I just used it as a bit of a carry, almost like a carry-on. Um, but it suits that really well. And then it also suits when you just need that slightly larger bag as well. Um, and then what else has been going on? I, I was having a little look at the Kurt Geiger website actually because i saw they'd added some even newer releases um so i recently did the overview of what's new at kurt geiger they've actually added in some newer pieces um as well they've got faux fur they've got sequins um they've got beautiful hardwares kind of turquoisey teal hardwares pink hardwares they've got stunning stunning items um available so definitely go and check that out. They've also re kind of revamped the Shoreditch range. They've called it Shoreditch 2.0. Um, so definitely something to look at if you, maybe the Kensington's not for you, but you think that you might like the Shoreditch. Um, 
Yes, and another another thought that I wanted to kind of share, because a trap I nearly fell into that we all say don't do, is I very nearly bought something because the price point was good, not because it was something that I would actually like to own or like to use. So I was on Designer Exchange, which you know is one of my favourite, favourite places to shop pre-loved, and there was a Prada bag which was 295 pounds it was a prada kind of double zip tote um that very classic prada shape um and it was in very good condition it was lovely actually um kind of good very good condition but it was in a kind of tan caramel color which just wouldn't work for my wardrobe um and isn't something i naturally kind of isn't something that i gravitate towards um so it was beautiful and it will be beautiful for someone but I was sucked into the deal opposed to the item itself and even though £295 is a fantastic price point for a bag like that um if you're not going to use it it's not a good deal if you're not going to love it it's not a good deal better off leaving it for someone who will love it and I'm I will see if I can find it and link it but I'm pretty sure it's probably been snapped up already because that price point was fantastic but I love that shape. I would love one of those Prada bags. It just wasn't the right one for me. And yes, I have recently bought kind of a um, brown leather bag because I bought the Celine, which is here that I have also been loving. Um, but that was me stepping a little outside my comfort zone and being really pleasantly surprised by how a um, kind of neutral bag can really work within my within my wardrobe but I don't think I need another and I wouldn't use that I would I would use other bags much more than it it would fill a very similar place to my mock crock mulberry base water as an example and I would just gravitate towards the base water I know I would um so yeah absolutely beautiful item no issue with the item itself the color was beautiful it just wouldn't have worked for me and I was sucked into the fact that it was a good deal and that I've not really seen that bag at that price point before so I thought oh do I just go for it whilst it's there no waste of money waste of time it will sit on the shelf and it's preventing someone else who will absolutely love it and who will rock the hell out of that bag from being able to do so so a bit of a learning bit of a learning there um, and I stopped myself before, you know, entering those card details. Um, actually, I think they've already got my card. somebody So one of my favourite things to do is to go homeware shopping. I love just looking at new furniture and furnishings. Oh, even though I'm fully kitted out, I love this shop. This is Home Sense. Cannot believe that we're looking at Halloween stuff already. But the shocking thing is there was Christmas stuff too. But I was loving the Fuchsia Ottoman. Beautiful velvet fuchsia. Mm. Christmas stuff. How? It's September. Love silk flowers as well. One of my best decisions was silk, switching to silk flowers. They just last so much longer. Home Sense has great snacks as well. Who doesn't love a good snack? But I just love looking at anything that's 
colourful and got vibrancy and patterns. I loved with the leopard. I thought this was beautiful. I absolutely loved this cushion as well. I thought that was stunning. Just beautiful colours, beautiful patterns. And I was also looking at kitchens because I'm thinking of redoing my kitchen. I just can't think of when the right time is. Can't decide on the right one. Can't decide on what I want to spend on it. Too many decisions that I cannot make. So I'm going to leave it there. But thank you for joining me for the week. I hope you've had fun. This is me and Bailey. Anyway, see you later.